Dolly, we're here with 2020 Vision, Seeing What You Don't See, and um, this is going to be a tough one. So, uh, Dolly is an absolutely amazing team member, and you'll be seeing this video probably on Soulful Sunday, um, and, but this is, uh, was filmed on International Women's Day. And so, with that said, Dolly, um, you helped transform my life, and I want to thank you. you you have been acknowledged for this inside the firm. Dolly at the Christmas party 2016 won the Unsung Hero Award. And Dolly was a, the, created some pivotal outcomes in the preparation for Arizona's largest jury verdict of 2016. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But Dolly is also with a beautiful situation on the horizon for you, um, heading off to be with the person you love and moving to. Nebraska. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations. Thank you very much. And I, I actually, it's kind of the opposite, or not even the opposite, it's equal. You have, and Cali Law has changed my life drastically. When I first started working here, I, litigation, you, the whole team, saw this light in me that changed my world. I was quiet. I was, um, I always had this drive in me. But being here brought that out, and now I'm just like a giant flame, and I, I'm this powerhouse that is just loud, and <laughs> it's just loud, and if I can say wild, because I'm, I'm still very analytical and uh, very skill set and organized in my own ways, but I'm. I lost track. <laughs> so we're in trial, and we are we are all in. I mean, how all in were we on this trial? Like, just like in, in like two sentences, try to ex express how much did this all take over everyone's life for like, like two hours of sleep every night. <laughs> two hours, like that's like that happened. You know what I mean? It wasn't like people say, oh, I didn't sleep well. I slept like two hours. Like they slept like six or four. Like it was two to three hours a night every night for a month leading for the three months before that it was like four to five hours a night for most of us leaving the office 3 a.m coming back to the office 7 a.m uh working all day every day but like that happened like that like people tell stories mm -hmm. like that was what your life was that was mm -hmm. my life that was our team's life and then we moved to arizona for a month so we're this is like all in Light versus dark, truth versus justice, everything is at play. Everything is at stake, right? And, like, one of my greatest fears was that I would have to tell my children that this that didn't go the right way. Like, that was a, a, the heaviest thing in my heart because I, I had always taught them, like, that things, justice works, like, the system works. Right will be done if you care enough and work hard enough. And, and my deepest fear, besides letting our client down, was letting my children down. And so we're like, we're at it. And this was a war. Like, how, how intense was the animosity like they had towards us? You felt it in the room. Even if you weren't in the room, a year before, two years before, every single thing that they wrote, every email, every phone call, every interaction with them was always just, they felt better than us. We were always the underdogs. And it was just a drive in myself to say no. Like, we, we're going to kick ass. I mean, like, yeah. give it our all. And we gave it our all. Hundreds of thousands of emails to go through. Dolly helps co-create our exhibit list of over 1,000 right now exhibits. I think it was over 2,000 total, including theirs, but over 1,000. Yeah, 100. which we had to review everything. 2,000 exhibits. There was going to be, what, 40 witnesses called the trial? Somewhere in that ballpark? Ooh. Going back two all right. years so, yeah. about 40 witnesses. So we're, we're crushing it and exposing truth. And witness after witness were winning. But in one moment, they begin to build some momentum. And it was always like some level of diversion. So the diversion is, like there's a law uh, called HIPAA that you can't share patient information. And one of our important witnesses who was a whistleblower, a truth teller, is now getting exposed and like, well, you broke the law too because you violated HIPAA. And you did it again. You did it in these places. You did it like 50 times. I, I forget the exact number. But it was like, whoa. And the jury was like, oh boy. Like, and, and they were trying to analogize that, that the violations of the law we were talking about that 
led to the destruction of you know my client's interest in his company, like like he and his side was also guilty of doing really bad things, right? Like that was the, the deal, mm -hmm. and they were doing their best job of diversion in that moment. The, be the best job, if you know narcissistic personality disorder, of gaslighting. Like, of like, oh, but like, you're the bad one, right? Like, that was happening. So, and it was like, huh. And then what happened? So, what did you start thinking? You're sitting there, and what did you start thinking? We have to prove them wrong that this is not the case. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to find that. Uh, yeah, that's what I did. They questioned him for about eight hours. Yeah, and they were beating on him, right? Pretty hard and making dramatic statements. So, in the. Couple thousand exhibits. Dolly thinks of, wait a minute, I think I saw something in their exhibits. But it wasn't just an exhibit, like, oh, exhibit 1297 is a page. It was a big document that had exhibits inside of exhibits, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the one of the two thousand exhibits has lots of pages in it with exhibits inside of it. Yes? Yes. Dolly knew this. Cold. Right? Yeah. Like you had an idea that existed because you had such a sense of the 2000s. And this is, Dolly's not an attorney. I didn't say that yet. Dolly was a paralegal. But cared that much, took that much responsibility and ownership over the outcome, and you went and you found it. Mm -hmm. Brought it to me, and that was like giving me like the antidote to kryptonite. That was like giving me a nuclear bomb to deal with you know, their grenade. And I was just like, it's over. Right? I got up and I made them look preposterous because the document showed them violating the same provisions three times as many times yeah. as what they were saying. Like they were like, and then this, and you did this, and you, you were aware of the penalties, but... And then it's like, wait a minute. They're like, didn't you do this, and this, and this, and this? That means you did it like five times as much as what your attorneys were yelling and screaming about, right? And the jury was like snickering, laughing. It was, and Dolly did that. Like that was you. Mm -hmm. And so, how did it feel when you watched, when you when you co-created that with me? Like we co-created that together. Like you gave me that truth, and then like I blurred it. So we co-created that moment together. How are you feeling when you're watching that happen? I still have the vision in my head, perfectly memorized. It's it's. Like watching a movie, it, it was mesmerizing. Not what I did, what you did. How did you feel about what you created? At the time, I was very nervous. I was like, okay, I think I have this, I think I have this. And then, Were you worried that it didn't mean what you thought it meant at all, or no? Or you knew it? I knew that there was something to be important about it. Right. Because, I mean, that it was the email, the document itself, and then it had it. Potential had everything. I was like, this looks this looks important, you know. Um, and when I handed it over to you, I was like, please let this be something something important, you know. I didn't want I didn't want to fail at at, at what I was doing because so I was giving some, given such an important responsibility. And when you you when you saw it and you saw everything that you needed there, you went up there and it was exactly like you said. Judge is standing there. Uh, the jury, I, I'm looking at the jury, I'm looking at the other side, I'm looking at their paralegals, because honestly, that that's what was my biggest defeat. Defeat their paralegals. <laughs> <laughs> and you crushed them, Dolly. Like, yeah. um, and they were, they were nice people they were, in a tyrannically yeah. crazy situation, but your heart was in it, mm -hmm. and theirs wasn't. Mm -hmm. right? So then this culminates in the, the Christmas and Holiday Party 2016, like, Hundreds of people standing up, roaring in applause for you. Like, how was that moment? I was crying. I was, uh, I was had this giant smile on my face, and I just didn't know how to react. I, I, I've never had an entire room of people stand up for me and clap and be proud of me in that way before. And it was honestly one of the greatest moments of my life. Yes. Well, thank you for being everything you've been here. Thank you for helping co-create the greatest accomplishment in my entire life that is outside of my children. And I mean that. I thought nothing would ever beat the championship that we won in high school football together and what we did, and that moment did, because it was about light and truth and justice. But we went all in to kill ourselves and to stand for something that truly mattered. So I love you, and I'm so sorry and sad to see you go, 
but so happy that you're stepping into a new life. And this isn't goodbye. This is uh, see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.